first video of 2018. That's right, let's get it. Slay. We slay all day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry that I have been absent all last week. I didn't post any videos, and that is because I broke out. It was just not a good time, and it was just horrible. So I was like, you know what? My skin needs a break. I need to get it under control. Basically, have it under control now. But yeah, so I'm so sorry that I was gone, but guess what, bitches? I'm back. So um, today we kind of did this not really crazy look. The only thing that is kind of new to me and something that I don't really do on the norm is I did a red wing. And I don't really mess around with colors like with wings and stuff like that. So I tried something new today and I hope that you guys like it. This is me kicking off my new year, starting something new, and yeah, I really love how it turned out. I think I'm going to do this with every color under the sun, basically, because I love it. I think it turned out so pretty. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Before we get into the video, please like and subscribe right down there at the bottom. Become part of the fam if you want to see. How I got this look and just stay tuned okay let's just get that on in today so I'm going to do my eyes first I'm going to prime them this is the Maybelline New York concealer and I'm going to prime my eyelid with this Get my damp beauty sponge, beauty blender, and just work that in. Per use. Alright, I'm gonna go do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay. Brows are looking good. Okay, so we're gonna do something a little bit different. So this little trick right here is how I actually learned how to do winged eyeliner. This is how I used to do it back in the day. I used to just put tape, even them up, and then lay it down. Yeah, so this is actually a really good way. Like, if you don't know how to do winged eyeliner, like you'll see, super easy if you do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to go in with Silk Cream, which is this color right here. The third one in. And I'm going to use this as my transition color. Let me zoom you guys in. And we're just going to work that right in the crease. And the colors in the Jaclyn Hill palette are so blendable like it's insane I love it okay now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker color and that is pukey 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 which is this middle shade right here and this mm, yeah pukey it is like a really like a brown has a little bit of like an orange cast almost and I'm just gonna work that in right below what we just did in the crease I'm just using my same brush we're just gonna tie that together I like to look down when I do this really get in the crease I have no idea where I'm going with this look but we're gonna get somewhere I feel like that's like 99% of the videos I make I have no idea where I'm going with it. 
I just go. Okay, now once we have our our lids kind of warmed up a little bit, what I'm going to do now is we're going to work on this wing right here. So this wing is not going to be a gel liner wing. We are going to do a shadow wing, which is going to, it's not as harsh and it's not as straight. It kind of gives it that kind of blurred effect, which I like. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a red one. So I'm going to take this really deep called Jack's, this red right here. And I'm going to lay that down right by the tape. And you want to make sure that your tape is like really freaking taped down. So just decide where you want it and do it just like you would a normal wing. pretty and um the reason why I didn't do much to the lid but just like warm up my crease was because I didn't want to make it too much on the wing but now what I'm gonna do now that my wing is like getting there I am going to take this little smudge brush and just go over and kind of muffle out those lines kind of make it to where it's not so sharp but not taking away from the color just to where it's like I said just like that blurred effect and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this little I don't even really know what you would call this brush, but it is just a really teeny, itty bitsy, like almost like a packer brush. And I'm going to go in with this really pretty, it has like, mm, let's see, well, which one do I want to go into? Yeah, this is like almost like a rose gold almost, but it's a little bit darker. So I'm going to go in with that. And this color is called SBN. Don't know what that means, but we're going to go in with it. And we are just going to pack this in the center of our eye right above our wing. Just to kind of add a little bit of pop to the centers of the eyes. So this is the best part. Okay. To reveal your work. So yeah, it just takes, makes it so sharp and just like, oh my goodness, I love it. I love that trick. This is how I learned how to do winged liner. It just does it like so good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to throw on some lashes. So I have... Let's see, because it's a wing, I kind of want to elongate it. So I have these Ardell Professional Eyelashes. So yeah, so these are kind of just elongated on the ends. And that's what we're going to put on. What I do first is I put my mascara and I curl my eyelashes. Now I just barely started curling my eyelashes because before I didn't. Because curling thingies, eyelash curlers, give me anxiety. Like... I had a friend in high school that her eyelashes got stuck in there, ripped them all off. Mm -mm. Okay, now while they're still wet, just when I go in and I curl them. Okay, so now take your eyelash, put a little. Now, some people go ham with the glue, and girl, it is gonna stick the exact same. No matter how much glue you put on, you do not need all of that. So I just put a thin line on. Thin. And I let that dry. My 
always look down when doing it. So I always have like a mirror like looking down when I do it. And I hold my eyelashes right in the middle of them because I put my middle down first. That way I can tug and pull the sides how I want them. And get it as close to the lash line as you can. And then I come back here and I pull the back until the back's where I want it. And once I have them in place where I want them, I always go through with my my tweezers and just clip them together and kind of press them both together. Be careful that you don't pinch your eyelids because I do every freaking time and it hurts so bad. And I like these ones because it has such a small band that you do not need like eyeliner on the top. Like they are so seamless, but yeah. So that's the eyelash and I'm going to go and do the exact same thing on the other eye and I will be right back. Boom. So now that both of our lashes are on and our eyes are done now, I've got to admit, I kind of like the colorful eyeliner. It's growing on me. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the face. So I started off with the Versali oil uh, elixir, I guess. And I put that all over my face before I did anything. Let that kind of soak in. So I got the new Double Wear Stain Place Foundation. Last night, I tried to try it because I was going to film. And it was just not working out. I don't know what it was. So I'm going to try it again today. So I think that I'm going to mix this and my... We'll probably mix it with my makeup forever just because this one is kind of like a darker shade. So I'm going to mix them and also I'm going to put a couple drops of the elixir of the rose gold in with it because it is super drying. Like this is a very, very, very matte foundation. So hydrate, moisturize, do what you got to do. I got this Origin. And this is a moisturizer. Have not tried it yet. So I'm going to try it now. You always want to make sure that you moisturize. Oh, no. And it smells so good. Oh, I like this moisturizer smell. It smells like Oh, it smells like fresh that ro or the rose water or something or other. Oh, it made my face extremely red. I just touch my face and I become red like I don't know what it is so now I'm going to go in with the primed and peachy of course because I just love this going on like my nose just where I have like big pores because I feel like it really kind of just diminishes that and that is only on my nose my nose has the biggest pores Thank you, Dad, because I definitely got that from him. Most definitely. My mom has, like, no pores in her face. None. Like, her skin is so flawless. And then I'm going to try the Becca First Light Primer. Just in, basically in my T-zone see how it does <laughs> I look extremely red hi my name is Dan Shumway and I'm a tomato this is in the color 1 and 2 so I'm gonna get a little bit of the elixir and put like three drops in okay I'm going to go in with my Morphe 439 brush mix that together and just start applying right here this cheek it is super duper full coverage and I'm also going to take my makeup forever and put that as well yeah like look at the difference full coverage
couple of new products last night just from the just from our shop co our little drugstore products that kind of weird so this concealer it has like a ball you know like those old perfumes that your grandma used to have that she'd like rub the ball right there and rub it together okay that's what this is so i'm going to try this this and then i'm also going to go in with the maybelline one and just kind of because this is more of a thicker my chin oh it hurts so bad and just a little bit on my forehead all right now let's blend her in what's left put it down the center of my nose so we're gonna go and we're gonna put a little bit of this on our nose and with the butt of the beauty blender just go and tap that in so now to set it I'm I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D. Go right up in there. Not really bake, just because my face is gonna be kinda dry, but just more along set it. And then go and just set the whole middle of my face. So set my chin and my forehead, just in the middle. So I got this Master Chrome, and this is another. It's all good. It's fine. This is in the molten gold. So I ran across this little beauty yesterday, and this is the Master Chrome in rose gold, and it is so pretty. Like it's just the prettiest pink rose gold highlighter of life and everybody says they love it so like oh, look at that glow like it is just so pretty so that's definitely what we gonna be highlighting with today now let's go in here and let's wipe off all of this that we set with now we're gonna go in with our park avenue princess i'm obsessed with this palette because i mean come on so we are going to do the princess cut color for our contour and run it down the sides of our nose now we're going to go in with our bronzing brush and just start to blend that in And now I'm going to go in with Carrot, which is this color. So this is the first color I used. This is Carrot. And this is my bronzing color. So on that same big old brush, I just go over. And these smell so good. Oh my god. Just go over. And add some color. Okay, now I'm going to go in. This is the moment that I've been waiting for personally with my highlighter and I'm I always spray my brush first just might as well just get the full effect the first time you do it so I'm gonna go into this pretty ass color and let's see how she does and I just want to see the light breathe in leave it all behind I just want to see the light Even if it makes me blind I just want to see the It's like perfect <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty I'm shook right now I love it Are you seeing this right now? What the fuck? Like, when do you stop? You know? Like, when does one stop putting highlighter on? Yeah, let's glow. Let's glow to the gods right now. Okay, so now I'm going to take my beauty blender 
and just go along my contour line and my highlighting line just to make sure that those are blended nicely. Yes, Lord. Better yet, let's go ahead and pop this on the insides of our eyes as well because who says we can't? Can't see the haters because my highlight is too blinding. Yes. So for lips, I'm going to go in with the Milani in the color Addiction. And all right, everyone, so this is the finished look. I hope everybody had an amazing New Year. I hope everybody had an amazing Christmas. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial chatty get ready with me to start off our New Year. Don't forget to like and subscribe right down there at the bottom. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you all in my next video.